Hello students, here we have a very important question under the topic Perth Analysis. Explain the three time estimates used in Perth. We all know that Perth Analysis is probabilistic in nature and therefore it has time estimates. There are three time estimates for Perth Analysis. We shall see what are they. So the Perth calculations depend upon the following three time estimates. So the three, three time estimates are optimistic, pessimistic and most likely time estimates. Optimistic time estimate is also known as least time estimate. Pessimistic time estimate is also known as greatest time estimate and most likely time estimate is the third one. This optimistic time estimate is represented as TO and sometimes it may also be represented as A, the alphabet small a. And this pessimistic time estimate is represented as TP or sometimes it may also be represented as B, the letter, the alphabet B. And this most likely time estimate is represented as TM or it may also be represented as the alphabet M. Yeah. So these are the three time estimates that we have. We shall see one by one in detail. What is this optimistic time estimate? Which is also known as least time estimate. And it is the duration of any activity when everything in the project goes on very well. So there is uh, no shortages of anything in the project and there is no disturbances. So in such a project, it is known as optimistic time estimate or the project can be completed with least time. So it is also known as least time estimate. For example, the laborers are available and come on time. So when the laborers are available and when they come on time, the project will move on smoothly of course. And when the missions are working properly and when the money is available whenever needed and there is no scarcity of raw materials needed. So there is no problem in the project and therefore everything will go on very well. So it is a positive approach, right? Because of that, it is known as optimistic time estimate or the time taken to complete the problem will become least because there is no scarcity of anything and everything goes on smoothly. We can complete the project as early as possible because of which it is also known as least time estimate. So this is the optimistic time estimate. Next, we shall see what is a pessimistic time estimate. So the second one that is the pessimistic time estimate is also known as greatest time estimate. Now it is the duration of any activity when almost everything goes against our will and a lot of difficulties is faced while doing a project. So when, when lots of difficulties are faced obviously the time taken to complete the project will get become higher and higher so it becomes greatest. Therefore, it is also known as greatest time estimate. Now, for example, here everything was in our comfortable space. Whereas if anything goes wrong in this or everything goes wrong in this, obviously we have it under the pessimistic time estimate. And therefore, when everything goes against our will, it is obviously pessimistic. So it is known as pessimistic time estimate. And the last one that is the third time estimate is most likely time estimate. So what is this? It is the duration of any activity when something, sometimes things go on very well and sometimes things go on very bad while doing the project. So it is half pessimistic and half optimistic and therefore it is most likely time estimate. So when some sometimes things go on very well and sometimes things go on very bad, it is most likely time estimate. So these are the three time estimates that we have in PERT analysis. Thank you.